Hello students, Sumit this side. As you all know, I have launched a new program, a brand new program, which I am saying is a premium program. Why I am saying this is because even the name says it's an ultimate program, the ultimate big data masters program, cloud focus. So a lot of queries were coming, sir, I want to know more about the program. I want to know the difference between the first program that is your big data masters program versus this new program. So I'm going to talk about those all. So this session, especially I am recording for you all so that you can take a more informed decision whether you want to again have this course as an add-on course so that it can help you out. So let's start. I hope you can see what uh, uh, um, the screen here, right? The ultimate big data masters program cloud focus an all new extensive 7.5 months program. So it is an extended program compared to the previous one, including more weeks. The previous one was 20 weeks. This is 30 weeks program. And the whole intent is to help you crack top product based company. Even my previous program, the aim was to crack top product based company. Then you might ask, what's the difference? I would say with my previous program, if you were able to crack five or six offers here, the intent would be that you do not fail any interview. You crack all the companies where you are giving interview. That's the intent behind. So you can see the tools and technologies covered. As you can see, a lot of focus is on cloud technologies too, apart from the normal stuff. And I see that as per the future needs, this is required. And this program has been created with a future vision in mind. So that if you learn it today, two, three years down the line, you should be feeling that yes, whatever you have learned that time also is relevant today too. So you can see these are the tools and technologies at a high level. PySpark is of utmost importance covering data structures too for cracking top, pro, top product based companies. A lot of emphasis is on Azure cloud and even a glimpse of AWS is also there. So I am covering Azure cloud as well as AWS. But if you ask me what's heavily focused on, it is Azure cloud. And AWS is also covered because today there is a demand of multi-cloud and you should not be totally unaware of what is AWS. You should have a decent idea about AWS too. Here is the module details about the program. So you can see module one, it is big data fundamentals and data lake storage. A lot of things like big data, the big picture, Linux command, Hadoop ecosystem at a high level, things like that would be covered. Also, I'll be talking about data lake storage, majorly ADLS Gen 2. Azure blob storage and the data lake part. So you see from the module one itself, we are focusing on cloud also, right? That, that's the whole difference between the previous program and this one that this is again bringing cloud into picture from week one onwards, apart from the normal stuff. Now module two, here we will be covering distributed processing with PySpark. In my previous program, I covered Spark with Scala. Right, Spark with Scala is also important, but I see today the trend is moving more towards PySpark. In my previous program, I have covered PySpark, but again, it is based on Spark with Scala. It's not purely PySpark that way, right? Here, the intent is that I'm not covering Spark with Scala. I'm totally covering PySpark because I see the trend going in that direction, right? So might be, if you see one year down the line, there will be more companies working on PySpark compared to Spark with Scala. This is what I feel right now. PySpark will be covered in extreme depth. When I say extreme, that means there will not be a chance that you get a point to say that this is not covered. I mean to say that, right? So I hope you understand the kind of depth which will be covered in PySpark and a lot of performance tuning techniques will be covered in PySpark because this is super important. Now, module three is Databricks. A lot of students do ask me, sir, I gave some 10 interviews and I have cleared four or five of them, but in some of the interviews, I was kind of asked Databricks questions, which I was not aware of. Then I realized that there is a need to supplement few additional modules so that you do not miss out on any interview chance, right? So it's like previous course, I'm taking the parts which are required plus adding new content to it so that you are eligible for all the interviews. So Databricks again will be covered with in extreme depth, lot of performance tuning, 
delta life table auto loader unity catalog what not so you see spice park and databricks is a lot of focus 8 weeks 6 weeks like 14 weeks totally on this so this is i would say spice park plus databricks heavy content and as per the market needs i have prioritized it that way now module 4 is data factory now i am bringing data factory here to replace two of the things from my previous course in my big data masters program the six months program which you are already doing i was covering scoop for ingestion right which is again a on premise based thing right and i was covering airflow for scheduling so these two things are majorly on premise not on cloud that way so here i wanted to replace these two things with cloud based things so instead of scoop again we will be using data factory and instead of airflow again we will be using data factory right so kind of again i have replaced these two components with a cloud based component you can think of this way now module 5 we will be covering data modeling ci cd and interview readiness so as part of this you will be preparing for interviews where you will be knowing what's a fact table what's the dimension what should be the thought process what is normalization what is denormalization again i'll be talking about some system design questions which are asked in interviews and you will be getting to know how to do deployment in the real world projects right and we will be covering some interview based questions so this module will prepare you for interviews and that's like around 22 weeks at this point right so that's roughly 6 months or 5 months right if you see it would be roughly 5 5 and a half months so that's where i'm saying you can start giving interviews after 5 months even though this is a 7 and a half to 8 months course if you ask me honestly this would go to 8 months itself because there are additional modules apart from this 30 weeks so this is roughly a 8 week 8 months course but after 5 months you should be able to give interviews and that's the point where you will start cracking interviews too right because you have learned a lot actually a lot so module 6 is structured streaming with kafka which again is a important module but not every interview will talk about it that's where i am saying you can start giving interviews before this but this is required actually and again you see module 7 is to focus on other cloud related services in azure we have azure snaps event hub uh, cosmos db we have hd inside all of that and in aws i would wish to cover emr redshift athena glue and s3 because today if you are really an expert you should be talking about multi cloud where you know in depth about one cloud and other cloud also you should know at a high level that's what my intent is you master the azure cloud and you become decent at aws cloud so that tomorrow when you are developing a solution architecture and someone talks about that okay should we use aws or azure then you should not be clueless you should be having some idea right so if you see at a high level the focus is mainly on cloud additionally apart from the previous course in this we will be covering four projects if you know in my previous course there were two projects here there will be four end to end projects and this will not be towards the end it will be like one project will be covered along with pyspark when we are learning pyspark we will cover one project when we are learning data factory we will do one project on databricks plus data factory combination then we will do one project along with spark structured streaming with kafka and fourth project would be on other cloud services so kind of when you are on week 22 or when you are about to give interviews you would have done two projects by that time and that would be a really great part so that's the thing and there are additional modules the additional modules are data structures around 20 hours of content specially built for data engineers and python roughly 10 hours so that you know whatever is required what a data engineer should know python is a vast language we cannot learn 100 hours of python but whatever is required for you you will be knowing this slide i am talking specially about the comparison between my previous program and this program now if you see in this program what's new we are adding azure data engineering cloud services around 12 weeks of content which includes majorly includes databricks data factory these are the two major components however there are other components too which include synapse and hd inside cosmos db event hub those are additional things but main things of concern is data lake data bricks and data factory 
as you can see here now what's new here we are instead of scala we are covering python and instead of spark with scala we are covering pyspark now i am trimming a little bit of hadoop part so that we get additional bandwidth to cover more of cloud services or focus more on cloud right so that's where i am replacing scoop with azure data factory i am trimming MapReduce part significantly because in MapReduce we learned theory and practicals. Practicals I am totally removing in this course and theory I would cover in a slightly different way, right? So again we will avoid or it's covered in lesser time. And HBase, what was a Hadoop part is now replaced with Cosmos DB again, right? So you see we are emphasizing less on Hadoop. It's not that all portions of Hadoop we are removing, no. Hive again is of great importance. So Hive I am covering well. So I feel to focus more on cloud, I have to remove some parts. So I am removing some part of Hadoop as simple as. Now instead of two projects, we are having four projects now. And now again, an additional module on data modeling and system design is also covered, right? Which is not there in previous program. Airflow is replaced with Azure Data Factory to bring the cloud importance again. And instead of a 20 weeks program, this is a 30 weeks program. So this program is of 30 weeks. In the previous course, you might be installing Cloudera Quick Start VM or things like that. But I felt a lot of people sometimes face challenges related to their system. They do not have enough RAM, right? They face a lot of challenges that way. So in this course, I would make you practice on a multi-node cluster from day one, right? You will be practicing you on a multi-node cluster and the cluster access will be given by us. It will be valid for six months. If after that you have to extend for another six months, you would have to pay nominal charges around uh, 2,900 rupees to get it extended. But six months we will give from our side and all the demonstrations will be showed through that lab so that there is no system related challenges. There is no setup related issues. And apart from that, whatever cloud related lab required that you have to procure yourself. For example, we are using Azure cloud and we are using AWS cloud. I feel if you go as per the thought process, which I am building, you will not end up spending more than 2000 rupees for the entire course because few things will be under free tier, few things will be on community edition. So we will try to optimize that way. And if you do it as per my guidance, you will not spend more than 2000 rupees on cloud lab. But the other lab, six months lab, where you will be practicing your Linux commands, PySpark, data structures, that lab I'll be providing. With this, you would have got some clarity on what exactly is new in this program. And to let you know, it's not that whatever weeks are overlapping would be the same videos. No, it's totally a different content i would be see in a program the flow of the program matters the most right and i want to make this program in a very different way based on cloud so everything will be new it's not that i will be taking the content from that program and will be putting it here now it's totally new content starting from scratch and the first batch of this is starting on 8th april where the content will be released week by week i do not have the content ready I mean, I would be releasing the content week by week. So you cannot expect that you can go faster than the batch pace and all. So I want to clarify that upfront, right? Now, a lot of people have posted some queries and all. So let me quickly talk about those two. So uh, how is this program different than the other two? My first program is more on on-premise and covers little bit on AWS cloud. How about this one? I'm bringing more of the cloud stuff and slightly trimming the Hadoop part. And also instead of Spark with Scala, I'm bringing PySpark. So that's how I have developed this. Along with that, there are more projects, there are more material for interview preparation and also it's more extensive, I would say. And number of weeks are also more, so I get more time to cover more things. As simple as that. People are asking, sir, which program do you suggest, right? Honestly, if money is not a concern, I would say go for the ultimate program because for three, four years, you do not have to then worry about because this is a program created with a vision that you should be the top developer even after three, four years, right? 
So this is the trend and this is the future. My previous programs is also bringing tremendous results. People are able to get multiple offers. But now I'm creating this with a vision that you do not fail any interview. Not just that, that you should be a top performer even after four or five years. It's like the upcoming tax time. It's with a future vision in mind. What is the curriculum? I have shown at a high level. And once the program is developed, I will keep adding topics. But I am trying to say PySpark, Databricks, Data Factory are covering extreme depth. See, again, if I'm prioritizing few topics, it's based on industry needs, right? So if something you feel that is missing from this, I could have covered this in Databricks. And I feel a lot of people need that. I would cover that. So my intent is to make sure this program is the top notch program and should be remembered for years. What are the prerequisites to join the program? Prerequisites are again the same that ideally you should be from an IT background that you know little bit of SQL and little bit of programming because if you do not know for loop, while loop, if statement, it becomes hard for me to teach, right? So I expect little bit on programming background and little bit knowledge on SQL and good to have an IT background. Will this course be from basic to advanced? Absolutely yes. You, even if you are from testing background, mainframe, any background, right? We start from the very basics, but you will go to a level where generally courses cannot take you, right? That's the level of confidence I have. I would say it's like something which is the best, right? Nothing beyond that you would require. It's a single program which will cater to all of your needs. It's not that some companies will say, okay, this is uh, missing or probably you should know this also and all. Would all Azure services be covered uh, as part of this? I would say all the major Azure services are covered like Data Lake, Data Bricks, Data Factory are the major things. Apart from that, Synapse is also covered, Cosmos DB, Event Hub, right? HD Insight. So few services are more important, few services are less important all are covered and will you cover AWS also? I will cover AWS also, but again, it's not in that depth, just like Azure. Azure is my top priority. AWS is at a level that is good to know. So someone asked me, are all the things covered by Sumit sir? Absolutely yes. I assure you that each and every video given here in this will be by me, right? There will not be any other trainer involved who will be developing videos along with me. Are there any live sessions? So I'm thinking to have around 12 unique live sessions, which will be conducted on Saturday mornings, right? So there are, it's a 30 weeks course, 12 unique live sessions will be there. And in other weeks, it will be either repetition or some weeks will be off. So 12 unique different live sessions will be there, which will help you more in your learning. And each session would be roughly one hour. How many hours per day is required? Someone asked me that I am a working professional. How many hours per per week is required basically, right? So generally I would say I would release around four to five hours of content per week, which would take roughly 10 hours for you to do that along with the quiz and assignment. So I would say 10 hours on the lower side and 12 hours on the higher side, 10 to 12 hours you can consider safely. Now about the practice lab, as I said, I'll be providing you an access to a six months complimentary lab access. It will be a multi-node cluster lab access so that you get the feel of production environment from day one, right? But for the cloud lab, you have to procure or I'll let you know how to create your own lab and you need to practice on that. If you go as per the plan, you will not end up spending more than 2000 rupees for the entire course duration. Now, what's the course validity? The course validity will be two years from the start of the batch. That's a very, very good choice for you to opt because you are getting it at the best price and kind of it's the best deal for you, I would say. So all the best. And now I hope this would have given you the direction on whether you have to go for this or not. But if you ask me, I highly suggest that if the money is not a constraint, do opt for it. And this will give you the best results in your career. Thank you.